Okay. Now, we're going into some green and uh, the yellows, the yellow ochre, the Indian yellow, and the cad yellow right there. Mostly cad yellow, I guess. And um, actually, quite a bit of the Indian yellow and yellow ochre for this background because I want, I want these background bushes, and I'm just tapping these in here with the one inch brush and uh, one inch flat brush, landscape brush. Just using the, the corner of the top corner of the brush there. And just um, tapping in, push shapes. Think about shape and form when you put these in. Just don't uh, jab them on at random. And um, because my canvas is dry, these go on there really nice. And uh, if you do use the uh, liquid clear over this, because maybe you want to, uh, you want to have some base color of like sap green or van dyke brown so that those those, those will blend a little bit easier back um, because of the darker paint on them they'll blend better but um, I have a lot of troubles with uh, getting my paint to stick sometimes and uh, because of the glare issue too I decided not to do put that on there but um, anyway uh, vary your colors, you know, and um, just kind of want like a, a greenish color, yellow, greenish. It's got a little bit of black in there too. I, I use mostly black. I, I touch a little bit of the sap green, but not much of that yet. Mostly just using black, the midnight black and cadmium yellow makes a green for us. Okay, if you want to leave some of the, the um, black in the background there where the, the trees are uh, showing. There's a little bit of back in there. Those will look just like background bushes that are silhouetted because they're far away. There's lost in, in the shadows way deep back in there. So don't worry about uh, any of it. A little bit of that shows up. It'll look nice. Guys, just working and um, you know, leave um, some dark spaces around there. So there's some shadows. You don't want to cover it all up. in there make sure that you have there should be a nice ridge of paint on the ends of your bristles and, uh, so you're just tapping that paint kind of when you tap down tapping at an angle and it's pushing your bristles forward on the canvas just a little bit and it's creating a ridge of paint on the end of your bristles and that's what you use to paint in, you know, um, so, and try to vary, vary in your colors, and having more colors mixed on your brush will give it more natural feel, when it's just one straight yellow, or one straight green, um, that's why you go into all these different colors, it gives, uh, gives your bushes more definition, and better than if they were just one solid flat color. It would look kind of flat. And, um, but these, um, this works fairly well and it, it helps um, push back all them trees and, and keep them contained back there. Of course we're going to bring some of those forward, you'll see. Which is one of the things I wanted to improve upon on my on my first on my original. Because I didn't uh, bring very many of them forward. I think I only had one on the right that, that came forward. But we're gonna we're gonna.
going to bring some of those forward in, uh, in the next video, I think. You'll see that. Just put as many as you want of these in there. You could even put, like, uh, some rocks or um, other more grassy areas instead. And, and, uh, you know, you could do kind of anything back here. You could put some evergreens, too. Um, you could even have, like, a waterfall back there coming around. There's like, so many things you could do.